he just was signing to a dream, child. That's why I signed everything Donald Duck. You heard me. Everything Donald Duck. People come back and be like, this is your signature. No, ma'am. That says Donald Duck. That's not me. I'm not. You better go find Donald Duck. They owe you money. Make sure that you like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. And if you do not have a retirement slash investment plan in place through your employer, please check out the Acorn app below. It'll change your life. Now, let's talk about more days. Oh, fuck. Okay. On time, a princely life in funk part seven this is where we're going to get into morris day and his addiction and i'm gonna tell you this morris day you was a i mean you being a kind of the private with your demons the same way that you being kind of private with morris i mean prince's demons because there's a lot more that I know you can tell, but you won't. So referencing Purple Rain, what Morris Day said was that um, he developed a character on Purple Rain that was MD, okay? That's his alter ego, okay? And MD wanted to be this bad mother hunchy, this cool mother hunchy that stole kids, i.e. princes, shine from him in the movie. that. Of course, he was on Potter Donuts, and Potter Donuts warp your senses. It gives you extreme entitlement, and Morris Day was full of it during this time of Purple Rain. So what he also said was that this MD character that he created during Purple Rain also was the character that helped him to do the third album, Child. Now... Here we are on the third album, Ice Cream Castles. Prince is still running the show, and the hit songs from Purple Rain, Jungle Love and the Bird, is now on this album, the Ice Cream Castle album. Now, Morris is still in his feelings about losing Terry Lewis and Jimmy Jam. I mean, I can understand you being in your feelings, brother, but listen, powdered donuts ain't gonna fix it. What Morris Day says is that this book is a way of him dealing with his resentment towards Prince. And I can dig it, you know? But after they finished Ice Castles, Morris Day had a solo career in mind because he didn't have uh, no inclination to want to get the band back together. You know, he just didn't have no drive anymore for a band. Prince chimes and say, Morris, I did want you to soar. I wanted you to be the best person that you could be. I believed in you, Morris. But Morris Day responds and says, yeah, you probably believed in me, but you wanted to control me along with that belief. Prince says, but why not? I mean, I'm trying to help you to be better. Morris Day said, brother, I had to break away from you. Good. Good, because that Stockholm had to end someday, some way. That's Stockholm, brother. And this is when Prince say, uh, yeah, so you got away from me, but that's when everything got fucked up, bro. Well, MD say, I mean, I was high, but I had fun. I'm saying to myself, didn't I tell y'all them Sagittarius? They want to have fun, okay? That's it. That's the bottom line, fun. If fun incorporates getting drunk or pissy drunk or, or, or high as booty cool, Nigga, they did. Prince also, Prince goes into, so now, instead of blaming me now for your problems and your, you know, your, your, the way your life ended up, now you go from blaming me and now you're going to blame this character, MD. Nigga, MD was you, brother. MD said, I'm not denying that. I'm just saying where my mind was at the time that I was out here being all reckless. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the syn synonym. What is it? Seminem and a seminem or homonym, whatever. For 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 Sagittarians. Reckless. And then Morris Day say, Prince, 
I'm not trying to bash you. I'm letting you know flat out that there will be no me without you. See, I just need for all you people who are Prince fans, who really and truly are not listening to the book, y'all think that Morris Day is exposing Prince? He ain't exposed shit, okay? He's being very, very decent with Prince in this book, so y'all motherfuckers need to calm down. That's all I can say. Now, Morris Day is talking about the hierarchy in the Prince camp, okay? Because Prince don't want to deal with Morris Day no more. And the way that Morris Day... It's making it sound, he's making it sound like basically like, you know, my friend, I got to go through all these people to talk to my friends. Brother, if I have a friend that's on drugs, no, you need, I need a buffer, okay? Because I don't know, I don't need you to come straight to me and be like, I need some more money for drugs. No, I need to inconvenience you. Cause that's how you deal with a drug addict. You got to inconvenience them motherfuckers. So then they be like, no, let me not call Prince. Cause I know Prince gonna make me talk to 13 people just for $13. That's what he did. So Morris chill on that part. You know, I'm gonna be giving Morris kind of the business in this part y'all because you know, mm -mm, you need to take accountability, bruh. How so Morris Day explains it is he says that he didn't like the fact that he had to go to management and management had to go to Prince. Prince had to go to management and then, or Prince would talk to management and then management would get back to Moore's day. Okay. He say he needs somebody that he could just talk to and tell them what they want and it get done and not be under Prince's basically tutelage. Okay. Here we are now. They working on ice castles, right? And Prince, and Morris Day, their relationship is a little strained, but nonetheless, Morris Day still had free reign of Prince's uh, mansion out in LA. Morris Day was staying at a hotel. You right. know, Morris Day heads to Prince's house high off of the boogity sugary. When he gets there, Prince ain't there, but he got four of his best holes there in lace gloves and leotard. One of them say, come here, Morris. Sit down next to me. Pat the couch. You know, sit next to me on the couch. One of the other ones come down and sit down at his feet. You know, more it's like, ooh, we about to have a funky good time. Then Prince comes through the door. See, he's, you know, half his women's, you know, hovered around Moore's day. Prince yell out, what you doing here? Get the hell out of my house. I said, ooh. Now, Morris is confused because Morris is like, what's the problem? I mean, we've shared bitches before now that when y'all told me that he had nastalopia not nastalopia uh vanity six i believe you bitches i believe you because this is where morris said they didn't shed the bitches before morris day confused because he like wait a minute you let me fuck your bitches any other time why i can't have none now i'm confused so he confused so guess what he do he go find some more boogity sugary okay and then he, you know, on his way. This is now, where Morris Day is reminiscing about how, you know, those two could be together. And Prince would strut his women in front of Morris Day. Now, Morris Day thought, I mean, I mean, if you show me your women, then, I mean, ain't you offering her to me? To myself. Now, I'm starting to, you know, question again about this sexuality part. Uh, I'm going to get into it later, right? So then Prince chimes in and say, Nick, grow, please. That was your interpretation. Well, Morris Day said, well, how come when I made a move on your bitches, you was cool with it? Shit, I thought we were sharing bitches. I didn't know. He goes on to talk about another situation that happened a few days later after Prince told him to get the fuck out of his house. So anyway, you know, because they could share bitches, you know. Morris Day had a couple of bitches at his hotel, and there's one woman that he called Wonder Woman. Child, I'm, include, I'm inclined to believe that that might be, you know, either Apollonia or uh, 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 Vanity. I don't know. I don't know, but listen to what happened, right? So he he having a party, you know, it's a good party, okay? Prince goes to the hotel, calls upstairs, you got my bitch up there. Damn, brother, come on upstairs. We can have a good time. Man, send that bitch downstairs. Tell her to get down here. I said, ooh. 
uh, that was the one that you wasn't supposed to, you know, fuck with. But anyway, he said that Wonder Woman ran downstairs and he ain't see the bitch ever again, ever, ever, ever. I said, ooh, I wonder who that was. This is where I need your input. This is where I'm like, I don't know, brother. I'm, I'm looking at you sideways. Now, I don't look no differently at Prince if he is bisexual. I really don't care. Okay, I don't care. Okay, but I believe that Moore's Day is covering up some things for him. And I believe that he's given a little bit, but he's not flat out saying it. Because every time somebody asks Morris Day about Prince's sexuality, he never says no. What he okay. said was one day while they was on tour when Morris Day was his videographer, okay? And this is another thing. Morris Day, if you wasn't trying to drop that seed to us, you wouldn't even have put this in the book. Okay, brother? I see you, brother. I see you. So, at any rate, he was the videographer, right? And then Prince said, could you put some makeup on my back? First of all, I'm saying, damn, who is scratching your back? Well, I mean, I mean, if he giving it to a girl, you know, them short men be having, you know, long establishments. Okay, so, you know, some girl might be, you know, tearing his back up. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. We had a conversation, you know, Prince, Prince is... It's, it's five three, okay? You know, them short men, you know, they be having big black limousines. That's all I'm going to say. But, eh, you know, we going to leave that there, okay? Prince Please. said, could you put some makeup on my back? And I'm saying to myself, what kind of, what? So Prince is inviting him to share women with him, Okay. He didn't, as of right now, he never talks about a threesome, but I don't know, brother. I don't know. But anyway, Prince chimes in and said, well, what's the problem? You know, MD say, well, I felt like I was your valet. Prince said, eventually you got your own valet, right? Wasn't Jerome, you know, the mirror guy, your valet? And get his ass. Prince, get his ass. Okay, because you ain't here, but you need to get his ass. Prince say, since you talking all that bullshit, brother, since you telling everything, why don't you tell them that time you came to my house in the dead of winter with two feet of snow, no socks on, high as booty cool, trying to get more money for your drugs? Morris said, okay, towards the end of the Purple Rain movie shoot, one day, it was snowing like a mother hunchy in Minneapolis, okay? The snow was two feet high, but Moore's day was high, okay? He put on a whole zoot suit, some damn Stacey Adams, and no socks, okay? He ain't had no money. He went through all his money, okay? This is during Purple Rain Child. Oh, he is fucking boy. Day you is giving me, oh, you giving me a limp noodle with this bullshit. Ah! He drives his ass to Prince House, trudge through two feet of snow with no socks on. Stacy Adams, I keep saying that because this, cause this ninja is cr two feet of snow, nigga. No socks, no boots, nothing. Anyway, he comes through the house, knocks on the door, tap, tap, tap. Hey, Prince, hey, boo. Sit down across from him, soaking wet. And say, yeah, uh, my brother in trouble, I need about $400. Nigga, please. Prince said, you were wasted. I wasn't giving you shit. Um, so after the Color of Success album, here we are. Moore's Day is with the shits, and he is ready for his solo career to take off. But he is tied to Prince. Now, what he eventually done was got a hold of this dude named Sandy Gallon. Sandy Gallon was already management to some great celebrities already. But what Morse Day had to do was buy himself out of the Prince situation, the Prince contract for $300,000, child. Sometimes you be selling your soul to the devil to go back to a different devil, child. Anyway, Warner Brothers arranged a solo deal for... Morris Day to do his solo album. And, and Morris Day reflects back on when he was a new artist under Prince. He said he would have signed anything just so he can get the accolades of being a celebrity. Okay? He would have signed anything. He didn't even know what he was signing. He just was signing to a dream. 
child. That's why I sign everything Donald Duck. You heard me. Everything Donald Duck. People come back and be like, this is your signature? No, ma'am. That says Donald Duck. That's not me. I'm not. You better go find Donald Duck. They owe you money. What Morris Day goes on to say was that although he was signed with Sandy Gallen, who was a good management guy, he was not sober. He was going into these meetings with these big wigs pretending like he was, you know, clean. But people always see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the funny part about drug users is that you think nobody sees you. Bitch, we see you. Now he doing the color of success. Child, that potted donut monkey is on his back. You heard me. Sandy says to him, brother, Morse Day, you need help. Morse Day said, answer, no. I like getting high. I like this monkey on my shoulder. I like this potted donut monkey on my shoulder. I like it. It feels good, child. You in the throes of the addiction, child. That This right here, ooh, ooh, ooh. Prince said, you had no intention on getting clean, did you? Morris Day said, nope. Morris Day, just to shut everybody the hell up, he went into a UCLA rehab, child, but he was sneaking out every night to the club where he was going on the boogity, sugary bench, okay? And be right back in there the next day with a smile on his damn face, Okay. He was released from that rehab in 30 days, not so. So this is where he goes from snorting cocaine to smoking cocaine. He equates the pipe with death. Hell yeah, it's death. Hell yeah. Said what pulled him from it, from the depths of pipehead hell, was his mother and his sister Sandy. He said although Sandy, his management team, or his management guy was a good person, he still wasn't that person to pull him away from the pipe, okay? He said the pipe took him to dark places. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. But anyway, and then you wonder why Prince didn't want you in the house, nigga. Child bang. But anyway, his mother and his uh, sister convinced him to go to a rehab that worked for him. Now he's talking about his second child. His second child's name is Taj. Right? His mother name is Sherry. He still was with the bullshit now. That's how he got a hold of Sherry. Sherry, I guess he didn't use a condom or, you know, his pullout game was weak. But he said he took care of his son financially. And basically, Sherry was a strong woman and really and truly didn't need Moore's Day around. He regrets the fact that he wasn't a better, better father to all his children, but he specifically said that that Sherry wasn't tripping off him. I mean, I, I don't need a relationship from you, bro. I mean, my baby dad is, daddy is Morris Day from the time. I said, ooh, okay. He said the album, Color of Success, and his sobriety was successful. Now, I'm referencing the song Oak Tree. Okay, now this is where Prince chimes in and say, I was proud of your success with your album, brother, and your sobriety. Morris Day said, yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. But then you and Sheila E. came out with a song about chopping down the oak tree. Prince said, I don't know what you're talking about. MD said, shut the hell up. We all know that you communicate through your music, brother. Prince said, it was all in good fun. Prince said... Brother, why you ain't called me once you pulled yourself together? Morris Day said, because you had Sheila E. And I had a new bitch. Bitches. That's why. We was busy with bitches. If you have not already done so, please make sure that you like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down, naysayers, my patron loves. Washington, D.C. You see that capital right there, right? You see that capital right there. Have a good one. <laughs>